think we're here. Well, this has got to be the right location. Hello there. How are you? I'm, I'm doing well. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. My name's Corey. And nice to meet you. I work here at the West Virginia Laborers Training Center. I'm the training supervisor. I think we've got a full day of, of activities planned for you and classes that you're going to be joining in. Okay. Uh, some of these folks here, they're, they're all members of LIUNA, and they work as part of the West Virginia Appalachian Laborers District Council in the Mid-Atlantic region. Perfect. So why don't we get you uh, suited up? You can trade that helmet in for this hard hat, and we'll put you to work. Oh, yeah. Another day in paradise. Hello, Tyler. As part of our skid steer class today, I'm going to have you take this bucket of stone and we're gonna put it out over here in the driveway. You're gonna level it out nice and smooth, and then we'll use the vibra plate to go ahead and pack it in nice and tight and give us a good firm base. Perfect. We are a okay. Follow up. Let's see what this baby's got. This is a vibra plate. It's used okay. for packing down lo loose material like stone mm -hmm. and gravel. Yep. What we'll do is we'll go ahead and fire this up. Boom shakalaka. Just like the racetracks you work on, all of the material underneath that racetrack would be compacted in a very similar fashion. That was actually a blast. Like, that thing does work. <laughs> it does. It'll drag you around all day long. I know. Honestly, I'd much rather do that than mow all day. So, well, you put that thing on the tractor, and I was like, oh, I don't have to do a few yards of it, but holy cow, that thing was awesome. The video you, video you watched earlier was about glove bagging and asbestos abatement jobs. Mm -hmm. So we're going to go up and we'll get you fitted for your personal protective equipment, otherwise known as your PPE. Everything up on the hill that we're doing with class will be a mock setup, so there will be no asbestos present. Okay. And you will take some asbestos insulation off of a piece of pipe. Alrighty, sweet. Let's go find you a respirator and see if we can get you fit tested. Okay. Okay. Take your hands and put your hands over top of these filters right there and suck in. It should suck to your face. Do you feel it suck in? Okay. So you got that done. I'm going to smoke test you now. <laughs> okay, we're going to make sure that there's you have no leaks. All right. If you smell this, let me know, and then just walk, get out in the fresh air, and take that off. Okay. Just breathe normal. Can you smell it? <laughs> yep, you can smell it. All right, step over here. And we'll we'll, re, we'll have to readjust you. Just, I go through this all the time with them, trying to get it get it sealed just right. Okay. Uh, try it one more time, make sure. It sucked in, I can see it sucking in. Okay. Ready? We're gonna try this again. Are you, can you smell it this time? I can tell you right now, you can't smell it. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, now here's the good part. Now, this is what I have to make them do. And I know you already got uh, lost into it. You ready? Yeah. It's awful. That like goes down your throat. <laughs> yeah, give it to him. So Tyler, how was your experience with asbestos abatement? That was actually a lot of fun for me. The biggest thing and the coolest thing is, is you don't think about that kind of stuff being in your home. And you know when you walk in your house and go sit on your couch, it doesn't even cross your mind. So going experiencing that, that for me was a blast. For everybody's safety, including your own, yeah. you need highly qualified, highly trained people to do that type of work. Well, I'll call Iona. Yes, sir. <laughs> oh. Oh. Wait, can I, how high can I go? Until I tell you I don't feel comfortable. All right. <laughs> Why wouldn't you just camouflage this and make it a deer stand? No kidding. 
right? It would it would definitely be handy for that. Yeah. Although in the wind, it might be a little bit of trouble. It's cold up here. I am cold. It is my hands. My hands are cold. Woo! <laughs> That's good. I'm happy with that. Yeah, I'm happy too. I'm happy with that. <laughs> All right. If you keep going on up, it'll actually arctic out, and the bottom will come up. Yeah. So, okay, let's go down. I'm good. <laughs> So how was Not your experience really. on a man lift? That was really fun, actually. See, the only thing I've ever done mm -hmm. that like that is a little tiny forklift to pick up boxes and move bats. So okay. that is 100% different. We got tall, we got high up there. That, that was almost too high. We got me. up there quick, didn't we? When it started getting windy, I was like, ooh, start holding on to things. Yes. <laughs> okay. So growing up, you know, for me, I had a lot of dreams and aspirations ever before I became a race car driver until I finally decided I wanted to do that as my job and for the rest mm -hmm. of my life. What made you decide to join Lyona as a laborer? Uh, I like I like to work outdoors. I've always been an outdoors person, <clears throat> but I do not like doing the same thing over and over every day. Mm -hmm. It gets boring. Uh, so as a laborer, I get to do a lot of different things. Mm -hmm. Even if I might be doing the same three or four things on one job, the next job I might be doing four or five or six different other things. Yeah. So it, it fits well, and uh, you really cannot beat the camaraderie and the mm -hmm. membership. Uh, I've got a uh, family of five mm -hmm. that I'm able to take care of. Yeah. Which is That's huge. Great. Yeah. Well, apparently, Lyona hasn't just only changed my life, but yours as well. Yes. <laughs> so. <laughs> I, I think this is probably one of the coolest things I've ever come and have seen. You know, for me growing up, you know, in Southern California, I, I've never really seen anything like this before, or even heard of it. And uh, uh, when, we, when I heard of Layuna and we had partnered with them and uh, worked with them for the past, you know, two years and, or year now and going on two, it's uh, it's been a dream, man. The people Layuna, they have uh, they have changed my life forever. Great, that's the truth. It's awesome. So thank you. Thank you.